Yo, yo, welcome to your how the hell do I get my optimizer to work video. I'm going to go step by step and show you exactly how to do it. All right. Uh, first, though, guys, please, honestly, if I help you with this, come on, let me get that subscribe. My goal for 2020 is to get that to that coveted 10,000 subscribers. I am about a quarter of the way there. So I need each and every one of you to show me some love. I truly, truly appreciate it. All right, let's get into the video. All right, so really quick, I'm going to just cover two, probably your most asked question. Um, and that is, can I get banned for using this? All right. And the short answer is no, you will not get banned for using the optimizer itself. Uh, according to Island Girl 11, he said that on his stream, on the podcast, that Come to Us does not mind us using the optimizer. All right. Um, now, can you get banned for using an emulator? And again, the answer is probably no. There's plenty of, of content creators, YouTubers, streamers who definitely play on an emulator. And I myself am actually going to move over to playing on an emulator. We are going to be using Knox to install this, but I'm probably going to be playing on BlueStacks in the very near future. Um, it's just that it's just so much easier to get this file that you need to, to run the the optimizer with Knox, okay? Now, let me tell you why uh, you, you shouldn't worry about getting banned, okay? So, um, comes with us in mind that you play on an emulator as long as you don't cheat using the emulator. Um, now, how would you cheat? So, there's a way so that you can root this emulator and then, you know, make it pretty much play the game for you while you're not there or whatever and that is what they don't want that will get you banned now in order to get this file you need a rooted emulator so i'm going to show you how you kind of bypass this without ever even playing out if you are the type of person that's uh, just skeptical and whatever and you don't want to risk it or anything i totally understand so what you will need to do is once you get to the how to get your certificate uh what you will need to do is you will need to get that certificate, email it to yourself, and that way you will never have to even root this emulator at all. So you will have no risk, okay? Now, the other thing that you can do is you can actually uh, root it. But what happens is, uh, so the game gets installed, but then it never downloads so then it goes to the download you know you know how you get those really long files you know and they show the pictures of content creators when you first play the game so you actually get your file before the game even downloads which is the file the json file is the one you need so you will actually never even play while it's rooted and as a matter of fact uh what happens is once it's finished downloading the emulator itself will say uh you need to unroot the emulator to be able to play this so you technically never play with a rooted emulator so you should have no problems at all now what i did um i just wanted to be safe you know i invested so much into my account so i wanted to be safe uh what i did is i just logged on on my alt to begin with while i did the rooted thing which was fine and like i said i never even open i never logged into the game itself while it was rooted i just unrooted it and then boom all right so let's go step by step all right first of all what you're gonna need and i'm gonna be doing it right here we're gonna download uh we're gonna download Knox. now the other thing you're gonna need is the actual optimizer itself which is here on the left and as you can see here i can take a peek at my highest efficiency rooms and and what bad monsters have them okay so the way you get this is on the windows app store uh, windows 10 uh, they have the actual it's just in, in the app you know you can just go here to cortana and you can search up uh, summoners or there is summoners or optimizer and if you don't have it i already have it but if you don't then you would download this okay all right now that you have Noxins um downloaded obviously you need to install it right now before i go any further uh i i, I want to tell you that i'm following a guide that's posted on reddit uh you can search s w e x with Knox parentheses 
Android, Android emulator on PC parentheses. And huge thank you to, I believe his name is, you user is Pisces. Uh, thank you so much for posting that. All right, so now that we have Knox installed, let's start it up. Okay, so that is what, uh, what it looks like. So what you wanna do is you wanna log in. Now the next step you wanna do is you're gonna, we're gonna need to root this, okay? So this is where you go. You go, you go to open, you know, to Knox. It's already open. You go right here to the system settings. You click root, you click save settings, and then restart now. There we go. So Andrew, uh, so it's restarting. Now what you wanna do is we're gonna go get our exporter. You can find uh, the link to this website um, in the description again. And this is the one you are going to want to download. It is the Summoner's War Exporter Setup 0.0.31-win.exe. All right, so get that downloaded. All right. So once you get it downloaded, this is what's gonna what it's gonna be. When you open it, this is what it's gonna look like, okay? So what you want to do is click on get certificate and boom. See right here, success, proxy certificate copied, boom, boom, boom. All right, it tells you exactly where it is. So what you want to do is you're gonna go and open your to your to your folder your file folder down here bottom left we're gonna open this thing right here tells you exactly where this file is okay so this is what you uh, what you're gonna what you're gonna go get from from your folder so mine is in users desktop summoners all right all right so there you go so summoners war exporter file certificate and this is the one you want so what you want to do is just you want to drag and drop it anywhere on Knox, all right? So you minimize, got Knox going, and then we're gonna click and hold, and we are going to drop it here. You see this? Boom. All right, so we just did that. Now, um, this is what it's gonna tell you. Just click okay, no problem, all right. All right, so I had, a, uh, when I was first doing this, I had a hard time getting uh, finding this next step. So this is what you do. At the bottom right, this that's where you click. And then you can close this actually, all right? I just could not find uh, where to go from here. But this is where you go. This is, you go to the tools, all right? You click on the tools, you click settings. You go to security, you scroll down. This is where it is, personal security. Click security. Now you come down and you will click on install from SD card. All right, so you're gonna click on internal storage. And for some reason, it saves that file onto your pictures folders. So you click pictures and there it is, ca.pem, right? So you're, uh, what you're gonna do is you're gonna, you're gonna choose this and it's gonna open up this window that says to, to name the certificate. So what you're gonna name it is just, you are just gonna name it ca.pem, all right? And then you click okay. So it says that you need to set a lock screen pin or password before you can use the credential storage. Okay, so I am gonna set a pin. I'm gonna skip this part in the video. Obviously you can set your own pin. After you set your pin, you can, uh, this doesn't matter. I don't want any notifications because I'm not gonna even be playing on Knox, so it doesn't matter. And you see right there, the CA.PM is installed. Now, in, in case you, uh, make sure that that pin, you, uh, that you remember it because there is a glitch where later on down the road, uh, if, once you want to get your JSON file again, or if you actually do want to play, it might lock on you and you need that pin to access Knox. And you don't want to go through all this again, all right? So make sure you remember that pin. Okay, so now we're going to click this little uh, button again. That's going to minimize that. And then we can close it. And now we are going to go back to tools. And then in the tools, we're going to go to file manager, okay? This one right here, file manager. You are going to go to data folder. And then as you saw, it is set to, to change the route. Just click yes, you're fine. Now you click on miscellaneous. Then you scroll down, you click on key store. 
you click on user so now what you want to do is you don't want to click on this you want to select it you select it right there all right it says one file selected now you want to click up here where it says parent folder so you will click on on the parent folder until you are back at this page or you can easily just click that and click home all right now once you are back at this page you will click the etc folder and then you will go down to security you click on cast search and then what you will do is you will click on these three little dots uh, kind of looks like a traffic light is what the what what the guide says you will click move selection here boom the operation was completed successfully that is you're pretty much done all right guys so that's pretty much it all right so next step is you click this uh thing down here again to get back here and you will click on the tools you will click on settings and you will click on wi-fi so you what you're going to do is you're going to do a long press on wired ssi ssid now you will click on modify network advanced options and now you can open your exporter and if you see right here it'll it'll tell you this is the proxy server and then this is the port so that's what you want to enter so here we go proxy you will click manual all right all right so you, you double check that you have the correct proxy server and then the proxy port and look everything looks good all right. so you click save and then you go back down here and you are ready to download summoners war so now you go to summoners war you search it right up top all right you click on that you open with the play store whatever you want to do i will put always all right so once you are logged in uh you click install accept and you just wait for it to install and as soon as it is done installing you are done our global now do not click start what you want to do is you want to go here to hive and boom so what's going to happen from here is as soon as you log in then it's going to download the game uh, the actual game files are going to download but as soon as you log in you are going to get your json file so let me block this out as i log in and i'm going to be logging in on my alt okay so i just so i just um so as you can see as soon as i click log in now you can see here on the exporter it already says it saved profile data to ace boom so there you go at this point you if you only want to do this this time you you you're ready to start using the optimizer but i'm sure you're going to need to log in later right so let me show you so now we're actually going to download the game and as in this is the screen i was talking about earlier in the video so we're going to need to let this thing download all the way um, if you actually want to log in and play but first um i just i want to show you guys where uh, i want you to see where it doesn't even let you play until you unroot this so you should have no problems at all all right, and then let me show you how you would import your JSON file on the optimizer while that's downloading. So what you what you would do here is you, you go to pick a file and it's going to go right into your files. And then you can uh, I'm going to click on mine Ace, and then you just click import it. So this, you're sure you want to re-import data. Uh, this is a, a previous version I had. So we're going to be importing my alt, so no problem and you are done that's how easy it is and um that's it okay so the game itself is actually about to finish downloading and um i want to show this so that you guys can see that it actually won't even let you play there it is right there deactivate the root authority in the system settings and try again you cannot even log in so you will not even play while this thing is rooted so you will you you did nothing wrong you will have no problems at all so you go to okay it's going to take you right back to knox 
click down here and we're going to go unroot this. If you remember, you go to the, the little wheel up top, you click on, on settings, you click off the root, you save the settings, you restart. And once you restart Nox, now that it is not rooted, you are free to play on it if you wanted to. But now you can also log in at any time. And this is where it's going to ask you for a pin. The pin that I told you, make sure you don't forget. Make sure you put it in. All right, I got my pin. And now I can, I am free to log in. All right, so what I did now is I did the same exact thing. Uh, I, I logged out of my alt and now I lo I'm logging back in with my main. And that's just so that I can get the JSON file for my main. And that's it. So there you have it, guys. So this is how you download the and install everything you need to be able to use your optimizer. Uh, make sure that you hit that bell if you are subscribed already. If you aren't, please, please subscribe. Uh, I will be doing a few videos showcasing this optimizer and how awesome it is, all right? Um, it definitely has helped me gem my runes so much easier. And honestly, it, the best part of it is it lets you build your monsters to their full potential with your best runes. Now, in conclusion, I just want to say a big, big thank you to X Sandro, the actual creator of this optimizer. Um, it's through his hard work that we are able to do this. I will have a link in the description to the website. Like I said, and actually, if you wanted to, you can actually donate to him so that, so that he keeps updating this for us. All right. Also, huge, huge, huge thank you to Pisces who who posted that Reddit guide. Again, link in the description. And thank you to Knox for providing this emulator for us, guys. So, guys, enjoy optimizing your RTA runes. But overall, enjoy making your account the best that it can be. You now have a tool that can do that for you. If you didn't know, now you know. You know.